Okay, this is an exciting day for our family. We're walking down the street to our neighbor's house who has bunnies. And we're gonna take a look at some because I think the boys are gonna get their very first pet. We live right in the intersection of suburbia and rural landscape. The front of our house looks how you might imagine a typical neighborhood with a cul-de-sac and stop signs and kids riding their bikes around. Um, but the back of our house, there's a few pastures that kind of come right up to our backyard. And when I pretend in the backyard, I feels like we're living yeah, in the that's country. that's the goal. That's the plan. Um, I've been looking for the perfect addition to our want, which rabbit do little like homestead. Best? I've been wanting some animals, and I think that rabbits are a great step in the right direction. Pretty soon, I want to get chickens, just like my neighbor her house you can see has um she's got bunnies and chickens running around and hopping around and that's where we're headed to i gotta say we just had a little bit of a disappointing experience at home depot and i left before i got everything because i feel like i was treated very rudely by two of the people that work there what, have you never seen a baby strapped to a lady trying to buy lumber before? <laughs> Just feeling a little peeved and a little disappointed in myself for not going to a more um, local place. I'm trying to decide if I'm just gonna go home and come back with Tanner, who, where I'll probably be treated with a little bit more respect with having a man with me, or if I should try my luck at a more local place. Rant over. Good morning. I hear the sound of a circular saw and I am pretty happy about that, which means progress on the hutch. All right, just to get an update on the hutch, looks like it's gonna be a big area for the little rabbits to hang out and live in. And they're not hopping around the lawn. So we got the wire in the bottom. This is the flooring of the rabbit tractor and this wooden part will be the bottom of their sleeping hiding area. Cool, looking good so far. All of them. The boys like tools. What a morning. Okay, so Tanner wanted me to check his work and so far I love it. It looks great. So we have what looks like the base built. I, right after I filmed that little clip about me ranting, um, I called Tanner to check in on how he and the boys were doing at home to see whether or not I had time to go to another store and he just kind of was not surprised at all and just was like, let me do it. <laughs> so this morning early, he went to Home Depot and had no problem finding the wood that he wanted, but he also probably asked a lot less questions than I did or probably none at all. So back to the hutch, things are looking good. We have the, um, the little privacy dens being set up and we're, planning on getting two of the rabbits um, that we saw and so I'm guessing that's why there's this little double divide privacy shelter. Chicken wire is stapled on to the base here. Tanner is almost finished building the rabbit tractor and I'm on my way to the Grange to get some Timothy hay and rabbit pellets and a couple last minute things. Young rabbit complete nutrition food. So I'm checking out these rabbit treats to see what, of, what I'm already growing. Huh. Salad essentials. So at my local store, you can buy a really small package of Timothy hay for like nine bucks, or you could buy this giant bale for 20. 
Note to everyone, don't put hay in the back of the Suburban without putting a tarp down first. So the chicken wire is secured around this side. On the top, we're putting the roof on and the sides to the privacy area of the hutch. So this is our backyard and there's lots of chaos from the kids. And this is where we've decided to set up the rabbit hutch once it's done and that's because even during the hottest because even during the hottest time of the day it stays shaded here um, and it also stays really lush because there's um, an irrigation ditch that runs just to the side on the other side of our property here. This area stays nice and lush and green um, and is hardly mowed, but hopefully the rabbits are gonna keep <laughs> help with that. Um, but there's plenty of weeds here for them to eat. I believe this is called self-heal and maybe shell sun horse. If you're watching this in the comments below, you can help to identify this, but I believe this weed is called self-heal and we have it growing all over. Also dandelions we have everywhere um, and they, <laughs> believe it or not, at the Grange they were trying to sell treats that <laughs> were made of dandelion. Um, but there's plenty of stuff here for the rabbits to forage on. They'll be able to forage in their rabbit tractor and they'll also be able to forage in this little exercise pen that I just got them. So we can open up the rabbit hutch during the day and let them run around in the um, in this little exercise pen if we're not out here with them. And the nice thing is it also has a roof um, because we do have hawks here. We've seen them in the field just adjacent to our property. Yeah. It's exciting. We're excited to have our first little little animals here on our little tiny cottage homestead. Yep, he's at it again. So after a couple days watching Dad, little mister thinks he knows what he's doing here. It's not too far off. and then you can peek in here and this is just the little door to get um, access to the food and water so we'll close this back up the original design it was much lighter weight and instead of having the whole roof be hinged and lift up which admittedly would be easier for cleaning. We went with a side panel that opens up. And that will give us access to this side. And I'm beginning to think that I may want to raise this up, so to, to put it on some blocks. I really want the rabbit manure for my garden. And so I think that propping this up on blocks will make it a little bit, a lot easier to collect the rabbit manure. And I have um, experience owning a rabbit. When I was a kid, um, I lived in an apartment complex, so it was an indoor rabbit, but surprisingly enough, it very readily used a litter box. So if I were to raise this hutch up, I could just place some sort of collection pan or tray or Tupperware under the area that the rabbits decide to do their business. Okay, time to go inside, but next time I check in, I think that we'll have our little bunnies. And now for the very short walk home with our new little baby bunnies. <laughs> so we think they're both boys. We're pretty sure. 
if they are both boys, then I don't think that I'm gonna worry about getting them neutered. We'll just keep an eye on it, um, and I'll do some more research and see if it's necessary if they are both boys to get one or both of them neutered. Mm -hmm. All the grass. Mm -hmm. I can eat in here. Yeah. Okay, well let's let these little guys get settled in. This one, poor little dude, has grass all over him now. And let's get them maybe an ice pack for them to lay next to because it's still pretty warm out. Okay, so they got some hay. We'll load them up with some more hay. And they have a little bed on one side. Nothing going on over there yet, but all right. Let's let them get used to their new home. Where's this rock? This is our first morning, checking on the little bunnies. Good morning! Good morning, little bunny! <laughs> so, I thought this little exercise pen was the perfect little add-on but it turns out I'm going to need to take it back and get a roll of rabbit wire fencing because, oh, he can slip right out of there. But it'll probably be for the best because <laughs> with the rabbit wire fencing, um, they'll have a much larger area to hop around and eventually it can double as part of the chicken run so, that's good news. It's getting us started on the next homestead project while working on the current one. So, thanks so much for watching, everyone, and I hope you feel inspired to maybe get some rabbits of your own. They're sweet little companions, but also they create wonderful manure for the garden that does not need to be composted before adding it because it is a cold manure. So, all right, take care.